Next, we have a five minute activity here, which is to identify uh, three different goals that you have uh, for your students or your clients and patients that you work for. And identify how you might use verbal instruction prompts, uh, specifically what kind of verbal instruction prompts to work on these three different goals that you have. So the next prompt type we're gonna talk about, a uh, type of response prompt is a model prompt. So our goal for this example is washing hands. And with modeling, just kind of like verbal prompts, right? we can have uh, various levels of what, kind of what we call intrusiveness um, for this specific prompt. So like with the verbal, we had an indirect, a partial, and a full. A full uh, is tend to uh, be considered more intrusive, right? I'm giving you the full um, answer or desired uh, example of the desired uh, response versus a partial is not so much. So an example for this goal, so like while washing hands, a partial model would be something just like starting to model by reaching to get the soap, right? So something um, just to get somebody started. A full model would be to model the entire goal of washing hands. Another example of uh, modeling is that uh, with the amazing advances in technology. We can do all kinds of stuff with video modeling where a teacher or student could video themselves completing a task and then the individual could watch that as they uh, engage in the target behavior of washing their hands. So for this specific prompt type, we have uh, we're focusing on modeling, there's some prerequisite skills that we need to consider if we're going to use uh, this strategy. So the ability to imitate is important, right? If we are trying to model what the desired response is, uh, it's important that the uh, student that we're, or individual that we're working with has the ability to uh, observe, right, that prompt. So staying attention to the model prompt, we need them to uh, be able to look and attend to what we're doing and then to be able to take that information in and then imitate what they have just observed. So some prerequisite skills that are needed uh, typically for modeling to be uh, successful. Here's a video that has some examples of model prompts. 